U.S. troops here at home tonight. New developments in the tensions with Russia over Ukraine. The first U.S. soldiers now from Fort Bragg in North Carolina leaving for Europe to support NATO allies. As U.S. officials now warn that Russia could release a graphic false flag video of a staged attack, they say, actually using corpses to represent victims as an excuse to attack Ukraine, according to the Pentagon. Here's our senior foreign correspondent, Ian Panel, from Ukraine again tonight. Tonight, the first U.S. soldiers deploying to Europe from Fort Bragg, North Carolina, among them 1,700 paratroopers from the 82nd Airborne heading to Poland. They're part of 3,000 American troops being mobilized to bolster NATO's eastern flank in the standoff with Russia over Ukraine. And a detailed warning from the Biden administration today claiming that the Kremlin has plans to stage a phony incident as an excuse to invade Ukraine. One option uh, is uh, the Russian government, uh, we, we think, is planning to stage a fake attack uh, by Ukrainian military or intelligence forces against Russian sovereign territory uh, or against Russian speaking people. Uh, th to therefore justify their action. Officials say images of the fake attack could be used to rally support for an invasion. We believe that Russia would produce a very graphic propaganda video, um, which would include corpses um, and actors that would be depicting mourners uh, and images of destroyed locations, uh, as well as military equipment, uh, at the hands of U Ukraine or the West. Today's warning comes three weeks after the U.S. first said the Kremlin was planning false flag operations as a pretext to invade. The Russians tonight dismissing the U.S. allegations. David, disclosing this kind of intelligence is rare, but the aim is to stop Russia from carrying out a potential fake attack or to make it harder to spread disinformation afterwards if it does. But it speaks to how serious this crisis really is. David? Ian Panel back with us tonight. Ian, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.